Kentucky's ability to fight COVID-19 is currently being decided in Frankfurt. And the number one thing lawmakers disagree on in this special session is masking. The House's school COVID bill voids the statewide public school mandate and lawmakers now close to giving the bill the final passage. LEX 18's political reporter Carolina Buchek right now live at the Capitol with tonight's big story at five. Yeah, this is more than just a typical disagreement. Lawmakers are on polar opposite sides when it comes to masking. They just cannot see eye to eye on this issue. But today the GOP will likely get its way. The House is voting right now. And in just a few moments, we will know if they will pass their school COVID bill. There being 28 yays, eight nays. Senate Bill 1, the school COVID bill, changes the way schools can deal with COVID-19. How does that support the central idea? It gives school districts 20 remote learning days to avoid district-wide shutdowns if one school or classroom is dealing with a COVID outbreak. It also creates a test-to-stay policy so students exposed to COVID can stay in school if they test negative every morning. And then there's the part everyone's fighting over masks. This bill will also nullify, null and void the Kentucky Board of Education's mandated masking protocol. That means no more statewide public school mask mandate. And Democrats argued this is a bad idea, given that many kids cannot get the COVID shot yet. And the coronavirus is at its most aggressive right now. This bill that we're talking about today is really a life and death bill. And if we eliminate mass mandates, then we are putting all children and all school personnel at severe risk. And I cannot tolerate that. But Republicans argued they're not getting rid of masks. They say they're making mask requirements a local decision for each community to make on its own. Not mandating they do, not mandating they don't. They make the decision of what they think is best for their constituents and their communities. OK, so what is next for this bill? Well, the House just finished voting. We're still waiting on it to become official, but the House did pass this measure. So now this bill heads to Governor Andy Bashir's desk for signature. Live in Frankfurt, Carolina Buchuk, LEC News.